one of the fascinating things about Juneteenth is it's about a group of people that were waiting for their freedom. And they were waiting even longer than, you know, all the other African Americans waited for their freedom. But then you have to think about, well, what did that freedom look like? What did it entail? And what does it look like for the descendants of those people that experienced Juneteenth? What does it look like for them today? And so are their descendants still waiting in a sense? Um, you know, if you if you go back and you look at that community in Galveston, Texas, and, you know, and if you were really able to trace like, well, what happened to their children? What happened to their grandchildren? What happened to their great grandchildren? Did they ever get the promise of freedom and equality that uh, that was made to them? And if not, what are we going to do about it? And so that's what I would would like to question is, um, you know, uh, the reconstruction period uh, was transformational for the United States because uh, the constitution was amended to ensure that the rights and privileges set out in the founding documents, the brilliant, you know, the brilliant rights and principles that were set out in the founding documents would apply to all Americans. And that wasn't the case before reconstruction, but it is something that we all benefit from today. But some people, some groups of people have continued to be left out of, of that full promise. And so that's what I would like to talk about and think about is what work remains to be done.